So we just stopped in at the Rube Goldberg machine competition. They're setting up. It's only 10 o'clock right now, maybe 10:15. Competition doors open up at one. Yeah, we're gonna come back maybe 12:30. See if they'll let us in. Here's Alex posing for his calendar shoot. Alex, do you like Rube Goldberg machines? What should we do now? Maybe wipe the snow off your butt? All right, say goodbye. Goodbye. So it's two hours until the Rube Goldberg competition begins. So we found an indoor skate park. Because why not? Alright, so we skated for like five, ten minutes. Um, turns out that was a private party and we crashed it. Alex, we'll find something else to do. Can I have your helmet? You can throw your helmet in and grab, jump in the car. Do you like Penn Skate? The skate park? Alright, maybe we'll come back. Party crasher. Okay, so it's quarter of 12 and a perfect time for lunch. Alex is looking a little upset. You can see him fidgeting with his fingers. He's not looking so happy. He's a little bit more troubled by music and stuff than he was at the skate park. But we have two slices coming. There's that little ear tweak. Ear to the shoulder. But Alex is being safe hands. He's just exhibiting all of these precursors. Putting the occasional face tweak. Alex, pizza in two minutes, okay? Okay. All right. You're holding it together real well. It's not a lot of stress, just kind of hunger. So one slice of pizza later, <laughs> just about. We're a bit happier. We've been drawing pictures on uh, of lamps and stuff like that. And uh, even though Let the Music Play is what's on the radio, Alex is not really digging the, the soundscape in here. And here we are, just about an hour before showtime, and the teams are constructing the Rube Goldberg machines. There should be six machines being built, all of which, Alex, come with me, all of which have to, um, have to hammer in a nail, so they'll all end with that sort of apparatus. So they'll each do it with a different theme, using different steps, different tools. No. It looks cool. Right, right here, big guy. Hey. Thank you. We're doing great, man. This is our annual trip. This is our first time. Oh, yeah? One more time, Zach. Is it going the right way? Yeah, it's going the right way. This is Alex Among. Alex with his crew, because Alex builds Absolutely. these at home with the stuff that we have at home, although ours are much smaller and not so intricate. This is definitely an Avengers theme one, because I'm reading Hulk Smash. I'm loving Hulk Smash. You have to back up, Alex. These are theirs. Here we have a St. Patrick's Day theme. And look at that, big dominoes golf ball. There's your hammer down at the end. Once it's all set up, it's going to be a fancy machine. Come on, let's walk back. These guys are taking a break. Come here. Come here. We've got to give them space. Walk down straight. So, it's a huge uh, conference space and there will be a video crew walking around um, projecting up there and obviously recording it for posterity. And uh, we're excited to see how every single one of these works. Alex, are you getting ideas for your Rube Goldberg machine? <laughs> wow, just 
Whoa. Yeah, let's go see. Let's go see. Let's stay in this row, and we'll go see. So these guys are a very fancy one. I like this one a lot. I think these guys will win because there's points for how clear it is going from one step to another, how easy it is to follow, and I think these guys will win for that based on the design of theirs. They use um, height and they use their width and their depth very effectively, whereas the other ones are really kind of busier and it's going to be hard to, it's going to, be hard to see their chain reaction. Although there's one we haven't even seen yet. So do we have six? We have one, two, three, four, I think five. So maybe this one, there'll be six. So all of these guys are engineers of one sort or another. And um, more later. I didn't mean to interrupt. How long does it take to imagine, draw up, draw up, and try out and build this? Oh man. Um, so typically, like we would start like in the beginning of, uh -huh. of the spring semester, so like around uh -huh. uh, early January. So then, like then we like pick our theme and we, like really decide what we want to do. And then from there, we usually have about like two, two to three hour meetings each week. Mm -hmm. And then um, from that, we're able to start building everything. So I mean, we've been probably working for about. Uh, Six or seven weeks now. That's and, fantastic. Yeah, and typically, we have eight people, about eight people on our team, but unfortunately, a lot of people couldn't make it today due to various uh, reasons. So. Now, is this the first time the whole thing has come together, or have you put it together and then taken we, it here? Yeah, we put it together um, and uh, we brought it all here. Um, but this is actually like an hour and a half ago. It was the first time we actually got it to start running. So beautiful. Um, yeah. So uh, well, yeah, it's, uh, came to, came came together pretty well. So basically there will be three total rounds, but the teams will only be judged on two of those rounds and will have the option to void one of their first two rounds. The void must be called by the team spokesperson before the machine completes the run. And teams that call void in round one or round two will be the only teams that participate in round three. Teams will have 20 minutes in between rounds to reset their machines. And during this time, the Penn State Engineering Ambassadors will tell you some things, uh, tell you a little bit about some of the other amazing things that engineers do. <coughs> we ask that you remain seated during the contest, as you will be able to actually watch the action on the screens up here. <coughs> okay, you guys may begin with it. Down. So they're going to do a touch, not a void. Okay, team one has decided to void the first round.
You need a touch. Stop. Oops. Void. Team five has chosen to void the.